Jesus declared, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, this temple has been under construction for 46 years and will you raise it up in three days? It's hard to imagine what a traumatic event the destruction of the temple must have been. Not only was it a vast building with its network of courts around it, dominating Jerusalem, but it was also filled with memories and associations of all the times that people had visited it, the people they'd met, the prayers they'd offered, the worship that they'd taken part in. Even after the building was gone, it lived on in people's memories, full of splendour and rich in emotions. But it was gone and could never be rebuilt. In 1993, the sculptor Rachel Whiteread made House, a work that was planned to be destroyed. She filled a house destined for demolition with a framework of steel girders and then poured concrete into the house, filling it up. Once the concrete was solid, she removed the outer walls of the house, brick by brick. What remained was the inside of the house, made solid, like an ice cube re removed from the tray. On its outside, you could see the impression of windows, stairs and fireplaces, the rooms that people had lived and loved in. It was as if all the memories of the lives lived in the house had been made into a pale ghost of concrete. After a few months, house was demolished to make way for a park and it has never been restored. House reminds me of the memories of the temple, so vivid yet so ghostly, so recent yet gone forever. That's the common fate of things that are destroyed yet not for Jesus. Jesus could hold all the worship, all the splendour, all the prayers and praise, all the encounters with God in the temple. He could gather them up into his living body. And when that body was destroyed and made to die, he came to life again, holding still and forever all the glory and splendour of the temple, all its holiness. Unlike House, he was not ghostly, but living, not destined to be demolished, but opening the door to eternity.